morning everybody hi how's it going mr. Park Hill here we got the second or third half depending on how you want to uh, refer to it of gradually cutting this wood knife down getting it to a nice relatively smooth finish um, kind of at the last part where I've shaved down most of the profile to where I'm pretty happy with it uh, from the top view as well as the side view um, now I want to remind you guys why we're kind of doing this things uh, this project this way um, number one is because you know I want you guys to know how to make tools some of my favorite tools that I have that I use for ceramics are tools that I've made and basically don't exist anywhere else um, I get the question uh, or I've gotten it what, can I just buy these things and the answer is always yes uh, you can go spend as much money on tools as you want and you're gonna end up going down a rabbit hole of, of different types of tools for different things um, but if you can get good at making your own tools then I mean you can save a considerable amount of money now with that said um, I've had a couple of students say well you know I have a bandsaw in my garage or I have a, a sander in my garage can I use those things if you do have those things available to you then by all means use them uh, but what this is this project is there for is for everybody who doesn't necessarily have everything tools materials available to them it's for making a thing that they're gonna use this year so uh, I'm presenting you ways of doing everything that you can using the stuff that is around you all right so I'm gonna talk about very quickly um, the different types of brick that are around the front yard of my house uh, cinder block it's gonna be very very gritty um, it has a strong tooth to it like there's a lot of stuff inside of there that is going to grind this thing down very very quickly and it is a great option uh, to work for uh, sanding this thing down and, and roughing up the edges to the point where it's a little bit more a little bit more smooth now if I go immediately beneath um, my block wall right here I happen to have two different types of concrete and you can tell that there's a different grit to each one of these concretes that I'm going to show you mainly because uh, they both get a different type of wear and are a different type of concrete and visibly visually you can see that this one has some rocks in it and this one right here has fewer rocks in it so this is going to end up being I have three different levels of grit here. I have my ultra gritty, I have my pretty gritty, and then I have my smooth. And so I'm just gonna show you a couple of moves and techniques to um, grind down and work at your wood knives so that the profile is a little bit more important, a little bit cleaner. And what I'm doing as I'm grinding at this thing is basically just smoothing it down, getting the profile to be a little bit more accurate to what I want.
All right, so I've used the grittiest parts of my cinder block, my block wall here to grind this thing down. And I have refined the edge quite a bit. You might not be able to see it on camera, but it is quite a bit more smooth than it was before. And now, again, the most important part of this is the leading edge. Like this is the part that we want to be pretty smooth. And I mean, that's even a little sharp for what we're gonna be doing. Um, but we want to make sure that this thing is reasonably comfortable on the handle. So you can take that down as far as you want for it to be comfortable. You will be at some point using this end to kind of uh, compress your clay. So it is a good idea to use the round edge of this thing to get it nice and smooth so that when you go to compress your clay when you're blending your edges in you get a nice consistent line I'm gonna switch this around I guess I can't with this switch this around to my slightly less gritty concrete and I'm gonna grind it down a little bit further that's when you get to call it quits and that is pretty gosh darn smooth if I do say so myself so check it right here the last little step if you happen to have some sandpaper quick hit around the edges if you don't have sandpaper no big deal if you don't want to buy sandpaper, you're good. But then you can see that this knife, even though it's a different type of wood than the ones that I buy from the store, it's going to do the exact same function. It's going to work the exact same way. You can see how nice and clean that is from that angle. Got a nice good look from here. You guys are good to go.